Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, we are gonna dig into some big money bolos. I'm Courtney, I'm your featured seller. I'm gonna tell you some about some of my eBay solds. I'm gonna tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. These are items that I pick up at thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales, YouTube, Facebook, you name it. If I can find a good deal, I will buy it. I typically keep my cost of goods low, so we'll talk about that as we go through the videos. And I'll tell you some of the different places I source and whatnot. So if you have any questions, please feel free to put them down in the comments. And I do have a series. It's my bread and butter bolos. So I do divide them up. Anything that is bread and butter is $35 or less. So if you're looking for easier to find items, definitely go check out those videos. But you'll see these items aren't too bad either. You'll be able to find them. All right, let's get started. All right, so the first item... I picked up in a mystery box from a thrift store. So I have um, certain thrift stores will offer mystery boxes, not all of them, but um, this thrift store offers them and they have Christmas and Halloween and toys and it's not consistent. Sometimes they have them, sometimes they don't. It just kind of depends on what they are flooded with, I guess. But this came out of a thrift store mystery box. This was actually a really good item. And it's a VTech Baby Amaze Happy Healing Doll. And it talks and all of that. So what I did is I created a video and I put it right down here in my description. So that anybody looking at this or is going to know exactly how this item works. So I ended up taking a best offer on her for $40. The buyer was all in for $52.24. The next item is House of Hatton. You guys, these are amazing. The sell-through rate is so good, um, at least in my experience. I guess I didn't check sell-through rate on eBay, but I sold all of these super fast. I, I don't even know if I have any left from this estate sale. Um, I picked up some recently at the Goodwill that I have listed, but this is from 1989. Right there is what you're looking at for on the bottom. Sometimes it'll just say H of H. Um, so that is still House of Hatton. Mine had the actual tags attached, which is great. I ended up taking, actually, this sold for the full se uh, sale price of $57.60 plus shipping. Uh, so the buyer was all in for $68, and I picked that up at an estate sale for five bucks. The next item is this vintage hand painted paper mache fold up nativity. And I got this at a thrift store for eight bucks. My cost of goods was $7.50 and it sold for $110. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let me get back to reading my paper here. I sold, it didn't pay $7.50. <laughs> I thought that was, it's $75. I sold it for $75. The buyer was all in for $110.17 and I paid eight, which I already said. So thinking about too many things all at once, right? Um, Department 56 Dickens Village series. This came from a thrift store also. I paid $3 for it. Um, I think it's important to show how the item functions. So if it does have a working light, go ahead and plug it in and show how um, it lights up. That would be a recommendation that I have. Now, this is the Ebenezer Scrooge, A Christmas Carol, which is pretty famous. So this did sell pretty quick for $50 and the buyer was all in for $63.04. The next item I sold are these Valentine's Day Candy Hearts scratch and sniff sticker sheets, you guys. I was missing a sticker here. And I ended up selling these for $43.20. The buyer was all in for $51.65. I bought these in a sticker lot, I think at a garage sale. But scratch and, sti scratch and sniff stickers are an amazing bolo. Um, there's a lot of people that will buy these on the sheets. And what they do is they cut them into singles and sell them individually. So a reseller could have purchased this from me and could be selling them individually in their store. I don't want to do that. I like to sell it as the sheet, but um, would I make more parting it out? Probably. So that's always an option. All right, you guys, this chunky necklace, green agate, knotted bead, 19 inch strand, 925 toggle clasp. You guys, this thing is beautiful. And it took a long time to sell because I had it priced really, really high because I just thought it was super special. And it sat and sat and sat. And I finally reduced the price. 
And somebody made me an offer for $65. So I went ahead and took it. The buyer was all in for $80.51. So speaking of jewelry, uh, this little necklace that I have on is actually, I have jewelry sitting all around me from a live show that I did the other night. And this is one of the items that I pulled out. You guys, it's just plastic, but do you not love these colors? Um, I will be listing this in my eBay store. It's just a fun little cheap costume piece. Uh, it's vintage, but it's, I think it's vintage. I'm pretty sure it's vintage, but it's definitely not high end, but I think think it's like very trendy. So let me know what you think about the necklace. Um, like I said, I will get it into my eBay store soon, but I thought I would wear it and just sport it for uh, the video. So if you like unboxing videos, I do have a bunch of them on this channel from earlier in the year. I bought oh, 344 pounds of jewelry and there's a whole story about it, but I kind of got burnout and I stopped looking through it. And I recently picked that back up and I've been doing that on my other channel, Sourcing with Bolo Buddies. And I've also been unboxing on my reseller testing Bolo products. So check out those if you like jewelry unboxings. But um, I just wanted to show this little cute necklace with you guys. All right, let's get on to the next big money Bolo here. All right, we did that one. The next item. Oh, but what I was going to tell you is um, that agate necklace that I just showed you, this one right here, uh, was from that bulk buy, the 344 pounds. So that is kind of what I'm going through. I think that was in, she had everything kind of separated. And I think she had that in with the natural stones. So what I'm going through now is just tons of costume jewelry. Okay, I picked this up at an estate sale for a buck and I ended up selling it for 60 the buyer was all in for 70. I did have this price high because it's it's a hard to find item. I could not find any comps. I was hoping to get more. It's kind of got like a raised plush type um, look to it, but it's a Happy Holidays Ronald McDonald Christmas stocking. So I don't know. I think I could have got more if I would have held out, but 60 bucks on a dollar investment is pretty good. So I went to a garage sale. It's been probably last summer or the, maybe it was even the summer before, but this guy had all of these racing shirts and you guys, I probably bought 10 to 20 of them. And now I wish I would have bought every single one of them. Um, I, this is not my expertise. I don't even really like selling clothing anymore, but I will pick up vintage clothing. I have sold most of the shirts. I still have some left. A lot of them are NASCAR, but they were like vintage. Some of them had some stains and stuff. And from what I'm learning, it doesn't really matter if it's the print that people want. And ah, I should have bought them all. I actually went back um, a day or two later and knocked on the door. And I was like, hey, if you want to get rid of any of that, uh, that other stuff that you talked about having in the storage unit, I'd be interested in taking a look at it. And they never called me. So womp womp. So I'll be watching for them to have another sale. But I sold this for $71.99. And the buyer was all in for $84.38. So if you have an experience where you messed up and should have bought it all and you want to share down in the comments, feel free to do that. Make me feel better, guys. All right. This next item is a miniature six inch ceramic tree. It's super, super cute, guys. I've never seen one like this. Unfortunately, it was missing two of the little lights, but um, somebody can find replacements. I ended up taking a best offer of 60 on this and the buyer was all in for $79.85 and I got that at a garage sale for 75 cents. The next item is this vintage Barbie and it's dolls of the world. And this is actually my husband's find. He's like, you told me to get Barbies, right? And he was at a garage sale and I think it was a garage sale or an estate sale. But they had they were three dollars a box, I do believe. So he brought home like four or five of them. So I listed them for him, and he sold this one for thirty eight dollars and forty six dollars and fifty five cents. The buyer was all in for, and it's funny because um, Mountain Man Treasure. I don't know if you guys have ever watched him, but check out his channel. He started selling Barbies. Um, and he was getting them from this place and they were all new old stock. And he had like this huge series on his channel. So if you guys like Barbies, go check him out. He found some amazing deals. All right. The next item is this House of Hatton. It is also vintage. Um, here is what I mean by H of H. 
And this one is from 1989 also. This one sold for $72 and the buyer was all in for $81.87. And I got this at an estate sale for $5. So this is um, a partridge in a pear tree. And this is what it looks like. So they are really just really cool things. The next item I sold are these vintage brown bag Christmas cookie molds. Um, they're for making like cookies and candy and stuff like that. Uh, I ended up selling these for $60. The buyer was all in for $85.28. I got these in a mystery box from the thrift store. And I was actually unboxing these on a live show. And um, I was trying to decide how I wanted to list them because on their own, they were kind of flooded. The market was kind of saturated and they weren't going for a lot. And a lot of people were sitting on them. And I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to lot mine together. And they sold really, really fast because I did it that way. So I think I did um, the right thing. So if you were at that live show, this sold fast. If you want to come hang out at my working hangouts where I list live and you guys can list at the same time and it's kind of motivational, you can check out my reseller testing Bolo products channel that is linked down below. The next item is this Jimmy Snowflake Spinning Snowman. It was broken, you guys, and it still sold for $100. And the buyer was all in for $125.38. And I got this at a thrift store for $5. And a lot of these items were also listed on Poshmark and Mercari. And they sold faster on eBay. I do use List Perfectly to cross post my items. It's an extension that you put on your computer and you can bulk cross post. So it's so much quicker than doing it manually. If you want to check it out, I have a video down in the description that shows you how it works. If you decide you want to try it, you can get 30% off your first month with a uh, coupon referral code Bolo Buddies, all one word. This solitaire game, I think I picked this up at a thrift store and I want to say it was like 50 cents or a buck. Again, this item flew out of my store for $39.60 and the buyer was all in for $49.70. Anytime you can find these old games, uh, Radica is a good brand to look for, but this one was sealed. So it really just moved quickly. The next item is this Eden Pure. I picked this up at a garage sale for $1.50. I had heard of Eden Pure. I have sold the heaters before, but I've never heard of hard water softener treatment system. But I was like, it's $1.50. I might as well try it. And again, this flew out of my store. Um, 50 bucks is what I sold it for. And the buyer was all in for $61.75. The next item are these bottle brush Christmas trees made in Japan. I sold these for $60. And the buyer was all in for $71.96. If you guys can find these, definitely pick them up. These are pretty detailed with the glitter. Super cool. Nice little bolo. The next item is this Fisher Price Circus Train. I got this at a garage sale for $5 and I ended up selling it for $57.60. It is incomplete and played with condition. So I just included that info. The buyer did pay shipping. So they were all in for $74.25. The cookie cutters. Okay, if I remember correctly, I was at a garage sale and they're like, just take the cookie cutters. Um, so I kind of just rounded everything up that I got. And I'm guessing I have a dollar in these, but they were technically, I think they were free. They just wanted them gone. Um, because I didn't really want to mess with them. I'm like, Oh, I don't want to mess with these cookie cutters, but I'm glad I did because I ended up selling them for $42 and the buyer was all in for 59 56. The next item I sold is this vintage polka dot elf. Uh, it's a knee hugger. These are collectible. Sold this for $49.99 on auction and the buyer was all in for $59.61. And I got this at a garage sale. It was either a dollar or $2. I can't remember. The next item is this original handcrafted wood Santa. You guys, I did an auction on this and I was just amazed. It started getting bids like crazy. Um, I ended up selling it for $79.67 and it uh, the buyer was all in for $94.39. I could not find this artist. I did not think it was anything special. Is it well made? It is extremely well made. I mean, very detailed, very, very awesome piece. Did I undersell it? If you know, let me know in the comments because I don't know anything about this stuff. And that came out of a mystery box, a Christmas mystery box. The next item I sold are these Disney Store Sleeping Beauty plush. It's the Godmothers and I sold them for $40 on best offer and the buyer was all in for $49.81. I picked these up at a garage sale for a dollar a piece. 
And here's another house of Hatton. Um, this is the French hen. And these are from the 12 days of Christmas from 1989 again. And this sold for $56. The buyer was all in for $66 and 38 cents. All right, you guys, just a little update. I did get a photo room code. It's a referral code. So if you use it, you will get your first month of photo room pro free. So just put Bolo, not Bolo buddies, Bolo as the code. If you want to try photo room, I do have a video that shows you how photo room works. It is on this channel. So you can check that out. And I told you about list perfectly worth point. I just did a video also. Um, it's probably been a little while ago, but it is um, how I've used worth point to make more, to get more for my items. So is worth point, it costs money. <laughs> Um, I did the $200 a year, um, because otherwise you're going to be paying, what is it? I think it's like 20 some dollars, but if you do the yearly, it comes to like $16 a month, um, by paying in advance and it's definitely worth it, you guys, but go check out that video. Um, check out what I sold the car for. And it's only because of worth point, like this car is the reason that I got worth point. And just go check it out. It's awesome. All right. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. If you made it this far, please leave an owl emoji down in the comments. And as always, thank you for being here. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. There's going to be some videos popping up and a subscribe button. So definitely subscribe and check out another video. Thanks for watching. I'm going to do another video and change my necklace. I've got all this jewelry. It's so fun. All right, you guys. Thanks.